Hi, hello, hello, welcome back to another video. As you saw in one of the most recent videos, we put away all the Christmas stuff. Finally, yes, overdue, but it's done. So now the next step is, of course, to put out the yearly decor because I don't know if you can see, but my whole apartment looks bare, empty. It looks like I'm either moving in or moving out, okay? And I feel like I'm hearing echoes by how empty it is. Let me show you. I've never ever had my living room this empty. Back there, empty. Even the kitchen feels just empty. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna take out all the boxes of where I have my yearly decor, set it on the counter here, just like how I always do. If you have seen my other videos, if you haven't, I'll link a playlist up here. Then I'm gonna come back to you and I'll show you what we're working with and then we can kind of piece together where we should put these items, so. Brace yourself. So this is everything yearly, but also I'm going to be putting out the Valentine's Day stuff because it is February and I'm gonna be putting out Easter stuff because it's not a lot, so I don't mind combining them. This is not everything, so I will be showing more. As you can see, I have a lot of candle stuff. The obsession with candles and candle holders is insane. Got my florals, y'all know I really like red. Then on this side, I put out some pictures that I wanna put out over here, hopefully. These are all my plugs, of course. I'm not gonna be using all my plugs because you guys see Christmas and some Halloween stuff in there, so nah. But I will be switching out the plugs that I have now to some in there. And then in here are the thingies, the smells for the plugs. And then that will be for that. I don't know if I'll combine those two. I probably won't because that won't be cute, so. And then this is the wreath for outside. And then over here, I like to put this one, this table cover right here. Got two little bunnies and that was already on the table. Last but not least, we got a beautiful egg that I got from TJ Maxx, the bunny, and a lot of kitchen towels. So let's get to work. Of course, we have Spider's help. She is supervising us right now. So I'm gonna start off with one of my easy tasks where I know where it'll 100% go. So over here, of course, I have my little lanterns. Still got some snow from the Christmas fake snow that I had in there, but it's okay. And these have already been cleaned. There you go, simple. Then I know for a fact that I want this in the bathroom, 100%, and maybe these two as well, so we'll see. For this bathroom, I've also added the regular scents over here. I've added this one. You can tell I love butterflies. I probably won't end up putting both in here, but I think I'm gonna put the tallest one, colorful one right here for now. So for this, I'm gonna leave it, I'm just gonna leave it here for now, but I, I think I have an idea of where I wanna put it. I am gonna add this right here. I like this little nook for this right here. It's perfect. I might just get rid of this for now, but it's, right here or put it away i might just put it away and then we can put this one here i had to decide which one i wanted because i have those three that i put out for the candle holders but this one i think it'll be it'll work in the bathroom because the rest have protection over it so i think for the bathroom this is perfect because it doesn't need protection you're always gonna bump into this whereas my other candles that could possibly happen and i love this candle it was on sale during the winter and I got it. Spring candle, oh, oh my God, it smells so good. And for the bathroom, oh, it smells so good. For the bathroom, I'm pretty simple and not too cluttered. The one that I'm gonna use for the bathroom is gonna be this one. Yes, I love butterflies. So much so that it's framed up there and <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna use this one and then for the smell, I'm gonna do the stress relief eucalyptus. Gotta use something that's refreshing for the bathroom. Nothing that smells like food, basically. For the kitchen, you saw that I have a couple of these. I, I think I'm gonna throw this one away. A lot of these are stained and I can't seem to get the stain out, but I guess I'll just keep trying to get the stain out one more time. But this is what some of them look like. This is one of my favorites. This one says, the kitchen is the heart of the home. And if that's not the truth, 
And then one of the Yodas is stained, but one of them isn't. This one says, mine, mine, will you be? Of course, that's how Yoda talks. So I'm gonna try to wash these again and put like a stain spray. And then I have this one. I think I have two of these, but I honestly not sure if I have two of these or my mom gifted to me. Since we only have two, we're gonna use both of these. Tell me that isn't cute. I'm gonna be getting rid of this, so put this away for now. And then since I've cleared up that space, I want to move this one over here, actually. This, I'm pretty sure I want right here. I'm gonna put the heart right here in the middle. Of course, this is just gonna be for the core purposes right now because once you cook, you gotta move that. We'll leave that there because it looks super cute. I'm gonna move this. Okay, and I always fold this in because the table was too small. This long table runner, but I make it work. So I'm gonna put a candle there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'll focus on decorating it, putting it all where it should go towards the end. I know for 100% these salt and pepper shakers will go here. Mickey and Minnie. I got these in Orlando, but I'm sure you can find these. Bam, bam, bam. So I'm thinking I'd be basic and I do this in here. This right here. I don't know where all my little thingies are, but. Looking a little empty. I gotta find the rest of my balls. My camera card was full, so I'm not sure where I left off, but I was just kind of playing with the idea of what to do with this here. I don't know, I feel like these. This and this are both big pieces to where they need their own moment. So I think I'm gonna put this underneath. What I had done in the past was I put these here. So I'm gonna just do that. Cause it does look pretty. I don't know if that looks good. Cause if I do that, I don't feel like this should be here. But I don't I think this needs to go somewhere else. I completely forgot that I had this right here, so. I think I'll put this, should I put this in the middle? One of these days I'm gonna memorize where all the pieces go. The only pieces that I have memorized are the ones in the very front, which obviously are very easy. I had a right, okay, so at least I have one portion of the people memorized. Okay, then the horse. I think that's, how, that's how I'm going to leave the top portion. For the bottom, I'm gonna put this here as well. These are some colors and I like it as decor. Depending on what I end up using for the entrance, then we can do a little more over here. Otherwise, I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna put these coasters right here actually. Let's put the wreath outside. Do apologize if the camera starts blurring. It's a black door, so it's hard for it to see. And that's the gist of it, pretty simple. While we're over here, I might as well also include another plug. I really like this plug. I got it on sale as well during the Christmas time. And I'm gonna be using the Smell Fresh Balsam. For this portion, not too much is going to change. I'm gonna turn on this light right here and then figure out which florals I wanna use. I think for now I'll keep it simple and then I'll probably switch these out. As the seasons change, I'm going to add this clock. I don't know if I'll put it in the middle this time, but I'll put it there for now and then figure out as I go. Then I for sure want to incorporate these beautiful <coughs> candle holders. And I'm thinking I feel like the candles at the bottom aren't really working out, so I might just leave them there for now. I don't know if it looks good or what I need to do. It's cute up until here. <laughs> That's what I think. I may just put the candles that look cluttered or what? Maybe once I add the egg, it'll make sense. Maybe I'll just put these here. Then I can 
Does that look better? So for over here, this little shelf right here, I have some salt shakers, salt and pepper shakers. Got a coffee, a donut, and this is just a small baby Nutella that I love. I love small things. How cute is this candle, y'all? Oh my goodness, look at this. <gasps> Isn't this cute? And it has the straw. What I have up here is these shot glasses, I believe. This one's from Wisconsin, it's a little cow so this wisconsin there i'm just covering it and then i have this one that says 2003 it's mickey and i have some toothpicks up there so you know it's cute for decor but also you can use it as well i think it has potentials i just need better items to put in here i was looking around to see what i had and i found these these come in a stack of three Sadly, that one, this one that I'm holding does not fit under there. That looks so much better. Then over here for my next plug, I'm going to be using this other butterfly. How cute is this one? And I'm going to be using the scent leaves. For the couch, I just do my standard covers and then that pillow that I got from Target a couple years back. My idea for here, I was going to say I was going to move it somewhere else, but now that everything's off of it. I think what I want to do is put my plants on top of it. So, so like this one, this one. I was going to say we could put my Monstera there too, but um, I don't feel like that looks good. I'll put it back down. Look at the perspective from far away. Does that look good or what do you think, Spider? Hmm? Spider, what do you think? You like? And then this is the overview for the bedroom here i'm not really even going to show you because i'm not really doing any decor i'm just gonna switch this candle holder with another one i'm gonna use this one and yes i have a christmas candle no shame the only other thing that i have to do in this room is just change this out and this is one of my newest ones <gasps> how cute is it and this one is going to be under the Christmas tree. This felt bare to me and I usually have something here, but I don't mind not having anything here because that way I can buy flowers and put it here with no problem. This gorgeous pot, cause this is a pot and I put my plant in here. This is an African violet, this is real. And I put it in there, the little, oh no. Oh my God, a leaf fell, <gasps> poor baby. Okay, let me just flip it so it doesn't look that bad. Look at how gorgeous that looks. It looks like that's the hair of it and that's what it was intended to look like. And that is it for today's yearly decorate with me slash Valentine's Day slash Easter. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick to the end so you can see an overview of all the rooms that we decorated.